Welcome to the course VLSI Technology. VLSI Technology describes the theoretical and practical aspects of the most advanced state of electronics technology, very large scale integration VLSI. Now they are called ULSI means ultra large scale integration, where an integrated circuit IC chip contains over 10 million semiconductor devices. With VLSI technology, the cost of electronics products will decrease while the system functionality and performance will increase. The VLSI tips will result in the realization of smart and brilliant electronic systems and in the improvement of quality life and global productivity. The IC complexity has advanced from small scale integration SSI to medium scale integration MSI to large scale integration LSI to very large scale integration VLSI and finally to ultra large scale integration ULSI which has 10 to the power 7 or more components per chip. We note that since 19 75, the growth has been mentioned, maintained at a rate of about 40 percent annually. In other words, the number of components has doubled every two years, over 100 million components per chip are available in year 2000. In the early 21st century, we will make into gigabit range and hopefully with IC chips with brilliant, brilliant, uh, billion components. This VLSI technology course will deal mainly with silicon VLSI, the unique combination of silicon's adequate band gap, stable oxide and abundance in nature ensures that in the foreseeable future, no other semiconductor will seriously challenge its preeminent position in VLSI, ULSI applications. And before coming to this explosive growth, let us look back for a moment to the back history. Let us spend some time on evolution of electronics. So let us go back to the evolution of electronics. So in that area, first we can start from the discovery of electron. In 1895, H. A. Lawrence postulated the existence of discrete charge that is called electrons. Just after two years, J. J. Thomson experimentally verified existence of electron and based on this discovery, Brown built the first electron tube. You may remember that few years back, that is in 1997, worldwide people celebrated the hundreds years of discovery of electron. In this last hundred years, lot of evolution has taken place. The science, particularly electronic science has, has forwarded a long development and in 1904, Fleming invented the diode which is called valve and that is a vacuum tube devices which is having 
two electrodes, one is cathode, another is anode. In 1996, D. Faust put a third electrode and that is a called grid into the Fleming valve which was discovered in 1904 and this particular device is called triode valve because it has got three electrodes you know diode has got two electrodes cathode and anode and the third one is control grid. This particular tube known as a triode valve which he called an audion and hence the audion is the first amplifier and you know the device amplifier whose basic function is amplification. Now in 1912 this first application of these valves either it is a diodes and triodes and that application is known as radio and radio is the wireless communication all of you know and in the same year 1912 birth of IRE took place. Now what is IRE? IRE is an institute, is an organization which is a worldwide organization and its name is Institute of Radio Engineers. The purpose of this particular organization is to hold meetings at different parts of the world and to assess the progress of electronics at the same time to know each other the discovery inventions in the area of integrated circuits and electronics and to discuss among the, among the scientists and engineers and at the same time to forecast the future of the electronics. This particular organization which is known as IRE in 1912 at present its name is Institution of Electrical and Electronic Engineers which is known as IEEE. Now the present era begins with the invention of solid state electronics and here the solid state electronics started its journey from the discovery of transistor and the first transistor was conceived by scientist known as Bratton Bardeen. A lateron Shockley proposed junction transistors and worked out its theory. The three scientists namely Bratton, Bardeen and Shockley they received Nobel Prize in Physics in 1956. That was the first Nobel Prize in engineering devices. After three years in 1950 the first grown transistor was reported and 1951 transistor produced commercially. Obviously the first commercial transistors is germanium and then silicon transistors came into the market. In 1958 the revolution of integrated circuit started from the discovery of mono 